You know, there are videos that go viral, but they only create a viral video once, and you forget about those people. Uh, there are ad campaigns that go viral, but those companies are never able to duplicate it again. Uh, there are a lot of things that can capture attention, but it doesn't mean they have staying power. So how do you really create that mental space? If you think back to the very beginning, when we looked at all those examples, those brands, well, you might have seen their eye-catching, bold, simple, creative, ego-appealing ads, but that's not the only reason you know them. Those things have been reinforced over time. You've seen them many, many, many times, and that's caused that permanent mental imprint. But it does more. You see, familiarity breeds likability. So just take a look at this, this simple diagram that illustrates the mere exposure effect. Now there's scientific evidence, this has been proven by many studies, that the more we see something, the more we like it. Now this might have happened to you with a song. Maybe you heard it on the radio for the first time and you were like, eh, meh, you know, it's all right. You heard it again, oh, I kind of like this song. Pretty soon, you're like, this is my jam. I love this song. The more you hear it, the more you like it. That can happen with foods too. I know there are foods I didn't like in the past. First time I tried them, okay. Second, third time, now I love them. I know that happened with me with kombucha, just as an example. You probably have stuff like that that's happened with you. There, there's a point where your brain says, this is familiar, I'm going to keep getting it, and so I better start liking it. And this actually works with marketing. The more exposure you create to your brand, the more likable and trustworthy you become. It's actually a, a mental heuristic. People say, okay, this has been around a long time, I'm seeing it a lot, it's safe. It makes the decision to go with it easier.